Hi, it's Monday morning and it's time for another mail call video. So I've got two packages today. These both came in last week and uh, we've got this little one and a big one. How about that? So let's do the uh, little one first and see what that is. Oh, I've also got uh, the company that we buy our shipping supplies. Their sales rep came in last week uh, to thank us for all the shipping supplies that we buy. And he brought me this knife. It's called the Sexy Zebra Knife because it's got these rubbery grips on it. Our uh, shipping supply company is a company called Uline, which they're all over the country. They do a really good job. We like them a lot. And the thing I like about this, this is one of those sort of ratcheting with the, with the blades you can break off so you always got a sharp edge and all that kind of stuff which is nice not uncommon at all the thing I like about this one is a good it fits your hand really well it has a good grip because of the rubbery stripes but the other thing I like about this is when you open up the back here it slides out and that's where you store the extra blades and they actually give you like four replacement blades with it just it comes with it so it's not one of these I hate it when you buy something like this and then it comes with one blade and then you've got to buy another pack to go with it uh, they're good enough to uh, give you blades with it and I kinda like that so let's go ahead and open up the first one so the first one we've got today is from Mary and she's in Tennessee and I don't really know what this is I don't remember talking to her so uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. We'll use our complimentary knife here. Seems to do a pretty good job. And just a little note says, thanks for all you do, Mary. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what we've got here. Some bubble wrap. We always have a lot of bubble wrap. Plastic bag. Ah, so it's a real new tone part in a real new tone parts bag because it's got a new tone part sticker on it. This is a 1939A EXC. So the EXC means that, see if you can see that. The EXC stands for, there were two kinds of parts that you tip, or maybe there's three kinds of parts that you could have originally ordered from Newtone. This is old school Newtone days. So if it was a 1939A000, it would be a brand new part. If it was a 1939A REB, it would be a rebuilt part. And if it was a 1939A EXC, it's an exchange only part and the way exchange only parts worked was if you wanted to buy one of these you had to send the exact same part to Newtone first with the order and then they would keep the one you sent and then send you an exchange one the one you sent in which in theory would be defective they would rebuild and then it became an exchange part and that's how they maintained an inventory of boards or think parts that they didn't make anymore and it actually says here, oh, it's got an FE number on it. The FE number would have been the order number once that was applied to it when someone ordered it. And then someone down here wrote new part, which is nice. Newtone used to have this. This would have been, back in the day, this would have been referred to as a module all circuit boards were called modules and they used to have what they called the module exchange program and there were a half a dozen or so company independent companies throughout the country that were module exchange centers and you would send a defective board or module to them and they would send you a refurbished one in exchange at a much reduced price and it was a really good program because there were regional uh, repair centers around the country the one closest to us was in uh, Washington State and uh, they're not in business anymore and it worked really well because you got tested rebuilt boards and they always worked it seemed like when you got them back and the turnaround time was really fast and that was always good also so what we have here is oh there's a note 
it says, somebody wrote, there's a post-it note on it, it says, on front door, it miss, on front door, it miss next to last note, new part. Uh, I don't know what that means exactly. Okay. So, if you're the technician or the serviceman who wrote this on here, let me know what you meant. I think what it means is, when you ring the front door, it misses the fourth note. That would be my guess. So what is this? This is a this is a new tone, four and eight note chime board, and this would be out of something like an LD forty nine N or a LD fifty six N, or it could have even been in the in the last or current series of LA fifty eights, which are short tube bar chime, eight note bar chimes, and this is the electronic control board that controls the chime operation. And this took the place these came out originally in the uh sort of the mid two thousands and it replaced the older style more mechanical board which had the clock motor and the armature that turned in the circuit board in quotes with the with the contact strips on it that made it ring in the right sequence so what we have here is the modern fully electronic replacement and I assume this is new this is a nice thing to have because these do sometimes suffer from damage from lightning and also they suffer just from general age damage and um, the nice thing about these is these are all fairly common parts on here. You've got two integrated circuits. One's a, one's a Schmidt trigger and one's a hex counter. And you've got some power supply stuff. And down here you've got the transistors that drive the solenoids, which are soldered. The wires from the solenoids are soldered to these pins. And these are little Darlington pair transistors. And everything on this board are all commonly available parts. So they're almost always repairable. So thanks, Mary. I appreciate it. This will go in the bin with the other chime boards and chime parts, and one day it will solve someone's chime problem. Thanks. Okay, so our second box today is from Troy, and Troy's from Washington State. Wow, and he sent it priority mail today. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. It's packaged up well. It's a good box. I like the new knife. Of course, we've got peanuts inside. Let's see if we can do this without making a mess here. Oh, it's whatever it is, it's pretty heavy, or pretty big at least. Get that out of the way. So what do we have? What do we have? Ah, oh, I think I know what it is. So let's go ahead and see if we can open this carefully because we don't want to cut the box. Nothing like a nice sharp knife. So what we have, I can tell from the box basically what it is, more or less. Get rid of that. Try not to throw it on the floor today. So this is an old Newtone chime box. And it's most likely going to be from the 50s. And it does have that sort of old, musty garage smell to it. And it's a little tattered here. but. Um, it's a nice style box. It's cardboard. It's got these yellow stripes with new tone, old school new tone logo down here. And when we open it up, oh, we've got a vintage new tone chime in its original box. And this is a Mount Vernon. And I believe a Mount Vernon is a model, it's a K, I think it's a K20. I'm going to have to look it up. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. So a Mount Vernon, this is the Mount Vernon. This is a really, really nice chime. It's a very classic Newtones design. And it can be either a model K20 
or if it was made in the 60s it would be an L20 and it's a it's a brass chime so let's see if we can take the cover off here or maybe we'll have to take it out it should have a date code oh, and here's a little instruction sheet that came with it Mount Vernon so this is back in the days when chimes all had oh it's the original mounting screws kind of rusty so this is back from the days when door chimes were a important item and they all had names and uh, I'm not sure Mount Vernon sounds like a founding fathers kind of thing I think it's probably where one of them lived and they were packaged in these really nice cardboard boxes and I think when it was brand new it would have had like cellophane or something over it to, to seal off from the inside but um, they were important and they all had names and the names reflected their style and or the sound that they made and what we've got here is a brass chime with a brass cover and you can remove the cover by lifting the centerpiece off and you have this sort of shield design with the faux resonator tube in the center and a little solid brass finial which is kind of nice and this is in really good shape whether this has ever been installed or not I don't know it looks like it probably wasn't since it's still in this original box so then what you have here is this is a two note chime it's a two note two door chime so you've got the solenoid assembly here the front door plunger you get both ding and dong and then on the rear door it only goes dong so that way you know where the person is and you have the the tone bars on either side and they're suspended on grommets and then you have the brass resonator tubes here on either side there's a hole in each one and that's how the sound gets amplified they are sealed off on the top and the bottom Let's see if there's a date on this so it looks like there's an ink stamp on it but ink stamp is right there but you really I really can't tell if that's a date or what it is one of the problems with the ink stamps and new tone is you know these would be like ink stamps like when you used to go to the library and they would stamp your library card they you know tap the 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 stamp on the ink pad and stamp your library card so a lot of times new tone used to stamp everything it had ink stamps on them unfortunately a lot of times when they would do that it would be like they would stamp it and then they would smear it and then they would lift it off and you can't always read it so it's kind of hard to say but this is a really nice chime I appreciate Tom sending this in to me uh, especially because it came with the box and the little instructions so this is going to go in the museum in my office and I'll find a place to display it in its box all together and that's mail call Monday so uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you might have found it a little bit interesting if you did give it a thumbs up on YouTube and let's see what we have next week thanks for watching